The Hell Dominator by Flashpoint is the one six scale figure we are going to check today. Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel. Seems finally we got an accurate size for a one six scale spawn. This one is made by Flashpoint. I got as well the base that they were offering. This base here is huge and looks very very good. But before going to the base, we are going to check here our figure art box. Hell Dominator here in the front, 1-6 scale collectible figure with item number over there. And you can see here we like in the mirroring effect our spawn here in the front and flash point up there. The art box, there's nothing special, just a lot of reds and blacks. In the back, the normal warnings. Let's see what we got inside. Inside we will have a first layer with our spawn and with his cape, all packed in a very sturdy foam and in the back you will have the rest of accessories and the second head sculpt. Here we have everything that comes with our spawn, not a lot of stuff but I think it's just enough for this kind of figure. And we will start here with the sword, it is made of die cast, a lot of nice details they give into this sword over here, I do like the handle being made of real fabric really helps on the realism for this figure and all the details on the sword are really really good. It's a bit heavy is true and but I think we'll be okay to have him holding the sword without any problem. We got then this sniper rifle with that blade attachment there. It is all made of plastic but that the attachment with the blade is die cast. So take care when you handle with that, but does give a bit of weight into this weapon. I do like all the details, the weathering, the washes they give on the red and the black. You can remove the cartridge as well, and then here in the back you do can adjust as you like. The rest of the pieces uh, do not move at all. The scope looks great too, but I do like most here is the paint application. A huge metal chain piece made by real metal, they did give some wash on this and looks cool. And we got two extra ends, this is basically the extra end you will use with a sniper. The paint application looks good, here in the left end you do got that spikes over there, they also look quite ok, no any complaints for the ends. Checking then here our second head scope that looks really really gross with all the burned skin and the blood. I really like the detail they give it. You got as well these two pieces that then you can assemble on the sides. But this head sculpt, the details on the paint application and the teeth look really really cool. Here it is with the light open. Here in the light box is a bit difficult to see. But if you have it in a darker place the green eyes really pop and look pretty cool. We got then a very simple display base, a square piece, but hides a secret in it. You can actually open this, this works as a drawer, and then you can severe some of your accessories. It's a quite interesting base. Then we got this cape, this is basically the same one that we got before by War Story, the material they use is the same, like this kind of leather shining material and it got wires all over it. The wires are very strong and you can see here the cape does have some holes on it and here in the top then you got the, sh the chain, you got the high collar over there that is all wired to and then you got there where you will assemble to the body, this is the place you will fix into a spawn a body. But looks pretty cool with a woody as well. It's pretty similar with the other one, but looks good. As for our spawn itself and starting here uh, with the head sculpt, you can see this is already an improvement compared with the other one we saw before. At least those eyelashes are not so prominent, and this one looks like the real spawn. The body itself looks good too. They did use that rubber material that we saw as well in the other one, the bigger one. But here the spawn logo is all shining, I do like the details here. Here you can see how you will fit then the cape, on the center the logo, as I was saying, and here in the sides you do got this brace with the spikes, all the spikes are made of die cast, even if the brace parts are plastic. But I do like all the attention they gave to the paint applications, all the weathering look pretty pretty cool. Here in the left hand more spikes as well, here you got the chain, with the logo, spawn logo there glued onto the body. Then you got here these pouches that look pretty good too. You cannot do anything with them, but they are just they just serve as decoration. Here on the left side, 
the other gauntlet with spikes too. This one is a bit longer than the one on the left side. In the back you still have other spawn logo and the chain and here the belt for those poachers. You can remove if you want. Then spawn boots. They are exactly the same as we saw in their prototype here. The right one is movable. You really can move. But there is no ankles articulation. How could it be with such a huge, huge piece? The spikes again are made of die cast and you can move the feet a bit. The feet do have some articulation, but not much. The torso you can articulate a bit more. I haven't played much with the body because I want to check uh, better what can I do with this rubber body. But here it is with a second head sculpt. I think it looks pretty menacing this uh, spawn. Checking now the diorama with this uh, skeleton here on the side. I think this looks really, really cool. It comes with a USB cable that then you can attach to a USB um, a power bank or something like that. Here the skeleton, I do like all the details they give into this. Looks pretty, pretty scary. And it comes here with that connection. It's easy to assemble. You just pop it in and it stays in place. As for the lighting effect, here in the back, I'm going to show you where is the connector. But this display base looks really, really cool. Here you can see where is the connector. And then you got the button that you need to press. And here it is how it looks like. The light here is a bit too exposed because I'm turning off everything. But there's enough light for this. You can use it in a room with your display that you will notice the orange color coming out of this display base, which I think looks really, really good. It's a heavy piece, but it gives a lot of realism to our spawn. And I really love this. Here it is our spawn, just a couple of poses. I think this is a win for Flashpoint. It does look really, really cool. The cape does have a lot of options for you to play with, as well as the chain, the skeleton in the diorama base all the accessories that it comes with. I think it's perfect if you are a spawn fan and if you are looking for a 1-6 scale form of this character. But anyway, this is my review. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one.